Welcome to Tales of the Beautiful Game. I'm your host, Mposana Manfred Maposa, and today we are graced by Se Ndeti. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. And you, Mposana? I'm good. You are our resident. Hello, viewers. You are our resident predictor today. We're not really doing the analysis, so it will be a marathon. Okay. I'll read the stats and then you give me your prediction. If you're going to add or subtract something, it needs to be at least one or two lines. Is that fine? That is agreeable. <laughs> you know, <laughs> with us and soccer, we, we, we shoot our mouths, run our mouths, because when it's soccer, everything just flows. So, it's, hey, it's going to be difficult, but we'll stick to that. All right, let's try. So, uh, viewers, um, please do not forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Daily Footy Tales. And you can also find us on Facebook. It's um, Tales of the Beautiful Game. Um, so today we're focusing on the English Premier League. Uh, it's round 15 of the games, and the first game is tomorrow. Leeds is hosting Bournemouth. Bournemouth's away league games are averaging 4,33 goals, and the second most in the EPL this season. Bournemouth have, con have conceded more away goals 20 than any other team in the EPL, and they've now gone 16 top flight matches on the road without a clean sheet. Leeds have been inconsistently inconsistent at home, winning twice, drawing twice, and losing twice. What's your take? Uh, my take is that Leeds is, go Leeds is going to win this one uh -huh. because uh, Leeds, uh, the way they play, they compared to Bournemouth, they, Leeds is a pacey team and uh, Bournemouth tend to be a bit slower, so they are going to have a problem containing the Leeds attack. I think Leeds will take this one. Um, uh, what are the goals like? The 3 0. It's not a PTS. It's not a PTS. All right. Second game. Manchester City is playing Fulham. The citizens have been ahead in by the 25 minutes of the of their last four games. So by 25 minutes, City would have scored. City have won their last 14 home games. City's last 17 games have all had more than two goals. So Fulham's last away games ended with both teams scoring. City have beaten Fulham in their last 12 meetings. What's your take here? Uh, a, 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 a straight win for City. Um, I don't know whether Alan will be back, I'm not sure. But uh, if I, I predict uh, uh, with the uh, in mind, bearing in mind that Alan is not there, so I will say Manchester City to win 3 1. The one call is for Mitrovic. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, the next one is Forest, is playing Brent, they are playing Brentford at home. Forest sensational win over Liverpool was followed by a 5 0 hiding in London. Uh, the reason why they have the joint worst defensive record in the league. So they win and then they lose 5 0 at these guys. Brentford have only kept one clean sheet in their last 22 away PL games uh, and are winless on the road this season and have drawn their joint most games in the league. You take care. I'm giving this one to Forrest uh, a, a 2 1 win. The reason being that uh, Forrest are uh, going into the World Cup break. They need uh, uh, some breathing space so they'll be forced to attack and it's a home game for them and they are going to win this one. 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. BTS. Yes. All right. Wolves versus Brighton. Uh, Brighton visit Wolves um, with their star player Trossard on seven goals. One more than Wolves, the whole team, are on six. Um, Brighton are winless in their last four games, considering at least twice in each. Yeah. Um, this one I'll give it to Brighton again. I'll give it to Brighton. Mm -hmm. uh, Brighton is a very good team. Uh, uh, even the, 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 the big guns, the, the so-called top six going to uh, Brighton, playing Brighton, they know they will have a tough game. Okay. So Wolves are struggling and they, are done. they don't stand a chance uh, in my view in this one. The, the so your take? My take is uh, Brighton will win 2-0. 2-0, not BTS. Yes, not BTS. All right, the next one, Everton is playing Lister. Lister have scored twelve straight. P have scored in twelve p p straight PL matches at the Goodison Park, but they have failed to win in any league game in which they have conceded this term. So they score well at Goodison Park, but when they concede, they don't win. Despite having third worst defensive record in the league, Lister conceded once in their last four games that they picked up form. Lister versus Everton. Everton versus Lister. Yeah, uh, uh, Everton uh, is also another team that is picking up form. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, Everton started very badly, but now they are picking up. So uh, they are at home, and Leicester just picked up. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll give this one a draw. I'll say it's a draw. BTS draw? BTS draw, yes. Okay. Maybe 2-2. Two, two. Maybe that can be supported by the fact that Everton hasn't lost to, to Leicester in six games. 
head to head. So let's see. Sunday. Sunday, this is the big one. Chelsea is playing Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea and Britain in 13 matches at home, and their last loss was against Arsenal, who they have failed to beat in their last three home to head to head home games. Yes, Chelsea versus Arsenal. I will give this one to Arsenal straight win. Mm. Um, Chelsea is struggling. Chelsea is struggling uh, this team, but uh, in big games, Chelsea tend to raise their games. Mm. So it, this one is not a, a, a much of a given, but I'll give it to Arsenal 1 0. It looks going to be a tightly contested game. Because Chelsea raised their game when playing against the big team, but uh, they seem to be struggling this season. I mentioned uh, some time ago that uh, Chelsea seem to be lacking something. I can't p pin a finger on, but it dawned on me that maybe it's the absence of Ngolo Kante. <laughs> maybe. All right, one zero. So it's all at least two one a tight game. That's your prediction. Yes. My okay. Prediction is all right, Villa is playing United, it's hosting United. So their coach, coach, caretaker coach Dunks um, won his first game 4 0 versus Brentford, only to lose by the same scoreline at Newcastle. United are beaten in their last nine games, keeping six clean sheets in the process. And their last three away league games ended with both teams scoring. However, so Villa last beat United in a league game. In, at home in 1995. Yes, do you see any change in this one? No, no changes. I'm going to give this one to United, maybe a, a, one, a tight win. Mm -hmm. But uh, th look, uh, Aston Villa won their last game with a big score. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it was the new coach, a beginner's luck, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm seeing Manchester United taking this one. Manchester United uh, grind results, and then Aston Villa is a struggling team. Uh, so Manchester United, they can grind, they, they, they have that thing of grinding out results even if they don't play well these days. So one zero to Manchester United. Not BTS. Not BTS. Okay. Southampton is hosting Newcastle. Um in their last ten EPL head to head matches the hosts have only beat the visitors once losing six times. Uh, Newcastle have kept a first clean sheet in their first clean sheet of the in eleven of the th Okay, Newcastle have kept a first half clean sheet in 11 of their 18 PL, PL games this season. Uh, Saints' last five games, four have been both team scoring, while uh, Newcastle, last five games, four have been both PTS as well. So, what's your take here? PTS? Yeah, PTS, definitely. I, I, I see a PTS and it's a draw. Mm. A draw PTS? <laughs> yes, a draw PTS. Either 1-1 one, one or 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, yes, okay. probably 1-1. One, one. Okay, <laughs> West Ham is playing Crystal Palace and Palace are windless away, scoring 3 in 5 games and they have not scored in their last 3 game, three away games. Uh, Ions um, won their last 6 home games. Seems straightforward. Mm, not really. Uh, Palace is... Uh, since Vera took over at Palace, uh, Palace is a uh, team not to understand. I'm going to uh, go for a Palace win in this one. Okay. One nil, a, a narrow win for Palace in this one. Okay. Mm, all right. Spurs, another home game in London. Spurs um, is playing Liverpool. That's the last game of the fixture. Uh, Spurs dropped their first home points after going down to Newcastle while it's the Reds' performance defying inconsistency. Liverpool are winless away, having scored five goals in five games. Spurs only managed a draw in their last five home Head to edge clashes with Liverpool. What's your take this from this one? Uh, I'm giving this one to Liverpool. You think two one. Um the reason being that uh, Liverpool as you said uh they are they're inconsistent. You, you see them struggling. When they uh, go to big games they, they pick up their game. Okay. They, they really they really pick up their game and then uh Spurs is a team that uh, anything can happen these mm -hmm. days with them. Mm -hmm. You saw them uh trailing two nil to Bournemouth and then Fighting the two, went three two. So yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool is not a team that you can trail two nil and then you think you can come back. So you will see a. I see a Liverpool win, a narrow yeah. Liverpool win. Though. One zero. Yes. All right. Um, viewers, we've come to uh, the end of our prediction. Thank you very much for coming around. I hope you get hundred percent correct. I usually do. <laughs> I usually play around uh, ninety percent. So, uh, anyone out there who is willing to bet on these matches, yeah, can. Uh, follow my predictions and okay. good luck <laughs> all right um please do not forget to subscribe um and also follow us on twitter daily footy tales and on facebook tales of the beautiful game until we meet again next time i'm your host in ciao this one is